Hi, my name is Miloš Hoffman. I'm in charge of smart power products for factory automation. And together with my colleague Vojtech Eliáš from ST Application Laboratory, we will introduce you our transceivers for IO-Link communication. Let's take a look at the key points we are going to cover. We will start with a very brief IO-Link technology introduction. Then we take a look at our IO-Link transceivers for master and device applications. And before conclusion, we will show you also our extensive evaluation ecosystem. Let's start with the IO-Link technology overview. IO-Link is an interface used at the lowest level of factory automation systems. The technology is standardized under international norm IEC 61131-9. It interconnects field devices like industrial sensors or actuators on one side with programmable logic controllers, distributed I.O. systems or gateways on the other side. I.O. link technology has been developed exclusively for this purpose and therefore it perfectly fits various industrial fields such as production systems with different machine tools or robotics. It finds place in assembly lines in automotive or pharmaceutical industry as displayed here. And there are plenty of other applications where IO-Link brings benefits. We can hear very often about Industry 4.0 or in other words, Industrial Internet of Things and about digitization in automation. IO-Link is clear enabler for these megatrends. The technology is based on a point-to-point -point communication between the IOLink master and connected IOLink devices. It uses a standard unshielded cable for industrial sensors to transfer binary data in the form of 11-bit UART frames using 0 24 volts logic. IOLink allows transfer of process data at the cycle rate as short as 400 microseconds. Every cycle telegram can carry up to 32 bytes of process data and the protocol supports also large data transfers. The communication runs at one of three transmission rates depending on the capability of the connected device from 4.8 to 230.4 kilobits per second. We are coming now to the ST product offer. IO-Link is a point-to-point -point communication bus with one master on one side and one device on the other side. ST provides integrated solutions for both applications. We have L6360, which is one of the first IO-Link master transceivers released on the market since the technology introduction. For the device side, we can propose a single channel transceiver L6362A featuring very efficient power stage for the lowest power dissipation and extreme robustness. I would like to take the opportunity to introduce also our brand new device transceiver L6364. I will show you more details about it later. An integral part of our IOLink offer are microcontrollers. We propose mainly the STM32, but besides the hardware, you need also a software to implement IO-Link communication. And for this purpose, we have a partner. I talk about TE Concept Company, which offers professional stacks for our microcontrollers. As promised, we are now going to present you our brand new dual channel IO-Link device transceiver released recently on the market. L6364 is a highly integrated dual-channel IO-Link device transceiver with really advanced features. Let me highlight just very few points. The IC has two configurable input and output channels, which can be set to high side, low side or push-pull modes. Each output can deliver up to 250 mA. For higher currents up to 500 mA and lower on resistance, both channels can be connected in parallel in so-called join mode. The chip has an integrated frame handler supporting all IO-Link M sequences according to the most recent specification released and implements an automatic checksum calculation and verification. 
Besides this, it offers several other modes enabling full flexibility to generate any transmission sequences. You will find also a DC-DC converter and two linear voltage regulators on the chip, all rated up to 50 mA. The supply voltage range is very wide and starts even below 5 V. All the chip functions are accessed through SPI bus and in the same way you can get the diagnostic information. Last but not least, the IC implements full set of protections like adjustable over temperature, short circuit, reverse polarity, but also surge protection which significantly reduces external component count. You can get it in a very compact QFN or in a miniature chip scale package with dimensions as small as 2.5 by 2.5 mm. Just few details to the integrated power stages. There are two identical channels embedded with possibility to select high side, low side or push-pull modes. They have configurable overcurrent thresholds as visible here in the table. They can operate either independently and drive currents between 110 and 250 milliamps or they can be switched in so-called join mode. In that case, the output currents are doubled and can go up to 500 milliamp. The equivalent on resistance is halved and power dissipation reduced. The power switches are capable to drive inductive loads with active clamping function for their fast turnoff. All the process pins are protected against surge pulses up to 1 kV using 500 ohm surge generator coupling. Let's summarize the key distinctive features of the chip. We have advantage in integration as we embed the IO-Link frame handler with checksum calculation and verification, the automatic clock extraction and all power management circuits. L6364 offers high flexibility. Many parameters are accessible for configuration through SPI and the data transfer is also done through the same interface. We can select among several communication modes. We have clear advantage at immunity and protection performances. All the process peripheries are protected against EMC disturbances, including surge pulses achieving the highest immunity levels. Thanks to the enhanced diagnostics, we have clear overview about what's happening around the application. This includes, for instance, adjustable thermal shutdown and under voltage levels and integrated 7-bit temperature sensor with possibility of calibration. Besides the newest part, we have also other interesting transceiver for IO-Link applications. I'm talking about the single channel IO-Link device transceiver L6362A. It has a power stage with the lowest on resistance on the market in range of 1 ohm. It can be configured to high side, low side or push-pull modes by hard wiring in the application. It has an embedded linear voltage regulator with output voltages at 3.3 or 5 volts. It supports all IO-Link communication modes and one of the key strengths of this chip is an integrated full protection and really an extreme robustness. It is housed in a compact TFN package 3 by 3 millimeters. And to complete the picture also on the master side, we have to mention our L6360 master transceiver. It has an integrated L plus and CQ power stages with low on resistances in range of 1 ohm. It's possible to configure the CQ line to high side, low side or push-pull driving modes. It has two programmable LED drivers and linear voltage regulator providing 3.3 or 5 volt. The access to configuration and diagnostics is enabled through I2C bus. SD offers a rich portfolio of hardware and software tools to accelerate and simplify design and development of smart applications. Let's get an overview of our evaluation ecosystem for IO-Link. Like with any other SD product for factory automation, our newest dual-channel IO-Link device comes with a full set of prototyping tools including XNucleo expansion board, STM32 cube 
based firmware library and a complete documentation. The brand new Xnucleo IOD02A1 with SPI, reverse polarity protection and two LEDs can be used as a reference for evaluation and application PCB design with the L6364. Associated firmware package Xcube IOD02 includes the IOLink Ministech and an IODD XML file to operate with IOLink masters. Industrial IOLink device software expansion for STM32Cube allows to build and evaluate applications based on the new dual channel device. It includes an IOLink device mini stack and all needed routines to operate GPIOs, SPI, UARTs, and interrupts in the microcontroller. The library is compatible with STM32L0 and G0 series, however, it can be ported to any other ST micro thanks to the STM32 Cube hardware abstraction layer. In order to allow testing of the new dual channel device in a complete sensor application, we offer a sensor nucleo kit PNucleo IOD02A1. It consists of the nucleo board with STM32L4 microcontroller and two expansion boards, one with the IOLink device L6364 and the second one with a 3D accelerometer and gyroscope, magnetometer and a digital omnidirectional microphone. ST supports designers with a wide portfolio of tools for prototyping and development. We offer an evaluation expansion board for each of our IOLink integrated circuits, including our single and dual channel IOLink devices and the IOLink master transceiver. In addition to the basic evaluation boards, we offer also a complete IOLink system solution like industrial form factor multisensors for predictive maintenance, the IOLink device nucleo kit, or the four port IOLink master. All of these solutions are fully compliant with IOLink and they can also operate in combination with IOLink products from different brands. STM32 Open Development Environment is the world leading prototyping platform built around the Nucleo board and the STM32 Cube software technology. Last but not least, the ST software packages include project files for the most common and user-friendly development environments, including the free of charge STM32 Cube IDE. You can find all information about our IOLink products and evaluation tools at st.com slash iolink. We have talked a lot about our integrated circuits and evaluation ecosystem so far, but what else can ST do to help you turn the building blocks into a real and successful product? First, we will gladly support the free of charge shipment of IC samples to your hands to kick off the first stage of your project. We will also provide you with the application support during the design phase and help to ease your software development thanks to our partnership with the leading IOLink software company, TE Concept. Just don't hesitate to contact your local ST or distribution representative or use any communication channel on our website. Let me quickly summarize the content of the today's session. We have talked about IOLink technology, which is specified by market leaders. It's fully standardized, universal, easy to use, and rapidly growing on the market. Then we have seen the scalable portfolio of master and device integrated circuits. The key advantages of our parts are very low on resistances of the embedded power stages, extensive features and protections, and wide configurability and diagnostics. And in the last part, we have seen the offer on evaluation tools and the complete ecosystem, including our system-oriented designs in terms of hardware, firmware, and graphical user interfaces and IOLink communication stack. Let us thank you for your attention. We hope you received some interesting information.
If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us through our distribution partners, sales representatives, or through the online support. We are looking forward to talking to you soon again. Goodbye.